a music producer and you being a music producer too, imagine that. Imagine a song how, come out. How mad I would be. I would want to. I, I would actually want to do horrendous things to J Cole. That was me. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Hey guys, welcome back to episode 18 of In the Lab Podcast. I am going to be a uh, filling in for Henry today. I'm sorry he's not here, but yeah, my name is Ian. I'll be your host for today, and I am very honored to have. My two buddies here. Yo, yes, sir. Rico, Rico, run that. Yo, Rico, you know thank you for having us. Yo, Ash, you know what I'm saying? It's a pleasure being here, man. You know what I'm saying? It's always a pleasure. It's always a, pl- it's yeah. always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> for real, though. Yeah, so Ash and Rico, they're very talented producers, and I'm very yeah. honored to have them on today's episode where we can mm. just dive into, I guess, what it's like being a producer and all the nitty gritty business stuff. Yeah? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. So I guess we'll start off with, like, just we'll talk about how we met. Right, so we met like I guess almost a year ago. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it, might be it was right like a fall time of 2023. God damn, yeah. it was cold we as were, fuck that day. Yo, there's a protest that day. Remember? Yeah, there was yeah, a protest yeah. that day, and yo, traffic was all jammed up. I remember we were stuck in traffic for what like a fucking hour and a half, bro. Oh, and like shit, crazy. the same yeah. mile, you know what I'm saying? We we're just trapped in there, just trying to get to the fucking destination, and we, and we made not move. We made it, but man. we made it in the end. And the night was a success. It was the night of the Spider-Man Raf. Uh, shoot yeah yeah we are filming uh so for context uh we met at a film shoot we were um extras for a scene for some fight scene in a um a film directed by our, our buddies um what was it it was just carlos ethan and max mm-hmm. right yeah so it's on youtube spider-man raf go check it out it's super Hell dope yeah. yeah yeah and we ended up me and ash ended up working on the the music of the that soundtrack. film, all the sound and the yeah music. so we ended up composing the scores in the movie it was original scores mm-hmm. You should go check out the movie. Yeah, and uh, mm. awesome. I'm actually going to transition into that. So mm. I just want to talk about, like, what was it like doing your first scoring gig for film? Because I know you guys come from, like, hip-hop and, like, all other types of just producing mm-hmm. music, right? So yeah, what was so it's it like different. Doing? It's definitely different. Um, you want to start on that? See, um, for me, it wasn't that different because when I was in high school, right, I was in band class. So I'm, I'm pretty sure most of y'all have been in band classes yeah. in high school. But in high school, you know what I'm saying, you learn a lot about the composition. Like, I can read, like, actual sheet music, shit like that, you know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I kind of know how, like, the crescendos work, you know what I'm saying, the woodwood instruments, how everything comes together, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like it wasn't a great area for me when I jumped into it, you know what I'm saying? But, like, the director's vision on the film was a little different, you know what I'm saying? He didn't want to do, like, your average movie scores, you know what I'm saying? He wanted it to be a little different, so we used a lot of synth synth involved um sounds for the movie mm. you know what i'm saying it was very electronical you know what i'm saying experimental it was definitely it was definitely an experience but you know what i'm saying i feel like i was pretty comfortable when i was doing it mm. and it came out great in the end it did indeed yeah what about you what was it like I, for i'd you? say it was different in the w- I sorry about that <laughs> what the fuck? that siri oh it was like tracking everything it was transcribing there. this whole episode Yo, <laughs> what the that's f- crazy that's Put, funny is your phone on D&D? sorry about that are we able to cut some of it no, no, we, we can oh yeah all right bet <laughs> anyways yeah. Moving on. oh yeah uh, so yeah basically for me I, i'd say it was really different because like obviously when you come from just only making beats and stuff like that you're used to everything being on grid and everything being you know it tempo. loops, it loops tempo, over right? its tempo synced yeah, yeah. and stuff. But when it comes to film, you don't have any tempo to use as a reference. Everything is kind of just abstract. Mm-hmm. And you're just doing what fits the mood. Right. So you can, get, you can get really creative with it, but it also gets very tedious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it gets tedious too because like most of the times, like beat making, right, it's mm-hmm. usually in the 4-4 four, four signature. Right, but when it comes to film scores and you know what I'm saying, other genres of music, you no you, time signatures, no this time signatures, game, right? you know what I'm saying, different time signatures, you know yeah. what I'm saying. And for most people, you know what I'm saying, most producers they're not too familiar with music theory when it comes to it, mm-hmm. so they're just locked in with the four to four loop, you know what I'm saying, eight bars, and then moving on, you yeah. know what I'm saying. But in movie scores, sometimes you have six bars, sometimes you have nine bars, you know what I'm saying, like it can fluctuate depending on what kind of mm-hmm. shit you're working on, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. yeah yeah not sick and uh also i remember being in sessions with uh with you ash when you were uh you were doing some crazy shit bro you're playing guitar with your vape i'm just like <laughs> i was like damn like but you're making some crazy shit like it ended up sounding real spooky whatever the hell you're doing for that mm-hmm. scary scene i was like damn bro so Man. like 
let's go into it, bro. Like, tell me how you fell in love with guitar, bro. So, bro, guitar, like, so I'm gonna give you, like, a little backstory on it, right? So, back in, like, 08, right? My dad bought me, so I'm 21 years old, and I was born in 2003, right? And when in 08, my dad bought me my first guitar, right? It was, like, a small guitar, you know what I'm saying? It was acoustic, but within the first week of having it, I smashed it to pieces. <laughs> I smashed that bitch to pieces. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. You know what I'm saying? And then um, I think like a few years later, my dad bought me another guitar. I don't know. He just, I guess he saw something, right? So he bought me another guitar and I started fucking and around with it. he smashed it to pieces. <laughs> no, I didn't smash this one to pieces. I think I lost this one. I don't exactly know what the did fuck you smash happened. It up? Did you smash the first one on purpose or like by accident type shit? Might be a little bit of both. Okay. It might have been a little bit of both. I can't exactly remember because it was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, after a few years later, um, my dad bought me another guitar. I don't know what happened to that guitar. Like, at that point, like, I was a little familiar with what I was dealing with. You know what I'm saying? And then I think when I was, um, I was 13, I bought my first electric guitar, right? So, funny story. Um, I was at the guitar store, right? It was my birthday, and I told my dad I wanted a guitar for my birthday, right? And the the store people, right? Like the employees, so they priced the guitar wrong. It was supposed to be three hundred dollars, right? Mm. This is in the states, and somebody missed a zero on the price tag. <laughs> somebody missed a zero on the price tag, and my dad's like, "Yo, we're gonna finesse these motherfuckers so right the for, fuck you got down it for thirty. So my dad took it up to them, right, and he's like, "You're giving me this for thirty bucks, and guess what, bro? You got mm-hmm. it for thirty bucks. I got it for thirty bucks, bro. Damn, I got yeah. that shit for thirty bucks. That was my first electric guitar, right? It was a Les Paul guitar. You know what I'm saying? I love Les Pauls, Damn. like." It's I not just, cheap for sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It was the first one. You know what I'm saying, and kind of I still I still have it. I love that guitar. You know what I'm saying, because like it's just I'm so used to playing it. Mm-hmm. So, um, I started doing some covers of like some of my favorite bands, like you know what I'm saying, like Guns N' Roses, shit like that. I was pretty ass though. You know what I'm saying, like I pretty like, I was pretty bad at it. But you know what I'm saying. Over the years, I continued playing, and then like a few years later, I really locked in and started playing. Right, mm-hmm. and now I can play like some. I can play some crazy, crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I can play some complex melodies. I can songwrite crazy on the guitar. You know what I'm saying? Just and then, <clears throat> like the last year, I really started experimenting with it. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. getting like freaky pedals. You know what I'm saying? Like especially in production and shit, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. So like pedals, like a gu- yo, the guitar is an instrument that leads to many genres. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. not specifically just the sound of a guitar either. You know what I'm saying? You could do so much shit with a guitar. You know what I'm saying? Like that one time, you know what I'm saying? The movie, like you mentioned, Playing I pulled out my vape, vape and yeah. I used the guitar like a guitar slide. Most of y'all will probably know what a guitar slide is, but I didn't have access to a guitar slide at the time. So I pulled out my vape and then boom, it did the job amazingly. Because if you check out the score in the movie, you hear some really spooky, like screeching sounds, you know what I'm saying? Just like weird slides. And I made all that happen with just some. You know what I'm saying? Some special with effects his, on the with guitar. With nicotine addiction. Yeah, <laughs> and the nicotine addiction, you know what I'm saying? And the mm. vape. But yeah, like, you can do a whole lot of shit with a guitar, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can play drums with a guitar. You can mm-hmm. make melodies with a guitar. You can do... So why, why are you looking at me like that? You can play drums with a guitar. You can You can literally play the drums on the guitar. You know that, right? Well, Smack you can, like, it, shit. it. Yeah, yeah and then too. you, you get a guitar. bounce. You know yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. So, to a certain extent, yeah. Man, shut up. <laughs> but yo, guitars, you know what I'm saying? Everybody should play guitar, man. You know what I'm saying? It's an essential thing in life and you oh, gotta yeah. do it. Was it the first instrument you've ever learned or? Um, the first instrument was yes guitar and then um when I told you I was in high school band class too, right? Mm-hmm. I was in high school band class, I was a drummer. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like everything kinda came together because yeah. As a producer, you know what I'm saying? There's yeah, the an aspect of the melody and the rhythm, and the drum, and yeah. then the rhythm you know yeah. what I'm saying? And the, the drums, they actually really helped me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I understood, like, snare drums, bass drums, all that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was able to imply all that into my producing career, you yeah. feel me? Yeah, all that bullshit. And uh, I was also curious, did you take lessons or were you self-taught entirely? I'm actually self-taught in everything. Damn. Yeah, you're like... pretty good for someone who's self-taught, too. Like, you just gotta really, fuck around until you get general, it. you're good. Facts. You gotta fuck around until you get it, you know what I'm saying? You don't. Just mm-hmm. play around, and that's the best way of learning, you know what I'm saying? Like, most people say my technique of playing guitar is very unorthodox, but you know what I'm saying? It works for me. Yeah. And, and like, like um, everyone's different in their own way, so do what works best for you, you feel me? Facts. And I mean, you already brought up Guns N' Roses, but who are your idols for guitar? I guess, like, 
Slash, right? Oh, man. I fucking love <laughs> no, Slash, you lo- man. I, I love, love Slash, slash bro. Man. I love Slash. So, yo, like, yeah, my role model in playing guitar has been Slash, right? Because I just, like, there's a lot of better guitars out there technically than Slash, but nobody makes the guitar sound the way he does. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. the, like, his songwriting skills, you know what I'm saying? Just the way he plays some licks and shit like that, bro. Like, I think it's so fucking amazing. So, yeah, most of my style is based around, like, the the hard rock style. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the kind of shit I like to play. But I could play anything but Slash, man. Goddamn, man. You know what I'm saying? You got <laughs> Slash and then you got Ash, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you got to there you go. You gotta make it match, perfect. bro. You know what I'm saying? Perfect. For real. I hope perfect. I meet him one day, bro. Yeah. Now you'll get there. I know you will. I probably will, man. <laughs> I probably will, man. I'll meet him eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For real, but um, yeah. Thank you so for like just going in, you know, deep about your whole guitar career. And of course, into everything. Man, but of course, bro. beyond that, and I want to ask both of you guys this question: What got you guys into making beats? Like you know, you could go start first, as a producer. You know? Uh, I guess like the main like the f- very first thing was that like, first of all, I just listened to so much music. Like I I would never not have my ear- like earbuds in my ears. Mm-hmm. Like when I was at school and shit like that, right? So it kind of just intrigued me from there, right? Um, and then I guess, like, the literal thing that made me make my first beat was that my boys wanted to, to like, do, like, a freestyle, like, oh, okay, okay. freestyle, like, diss track, right? <laughs> diss so track. They wanted to, like, diss one of my other friends in, like, high school. It was, like, 10th grade. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, like, I'll, fuck her. I'll try to make a beat for it, right? So I got, like, GarageBand. And I made like the world's like worst beat ever. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. all start somewhere though. Yeah, yeah. I remember those yeah. high school times, bro, like where everybody would just be, you know what I'm saying, making tracks and just dissing their friends. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Like, exactly. That's where like everybody goes through that in high school, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I days. used to make these beats and I was like, yo, shit's so fucking hard. <laughs> yeah. Like in the moment, I used to up- do the same shit as you, bro. bro. I used to yeah. upload them to YouTube and now I look back, I'm like, what the fuck was I thinking? Bro, yeah, you know? man, it happens, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? It sounds but good to you th- in the moment. That's how, like, Bro, that like that first beat, I worked on it for like two days and it was terrible, <laughs> right? Like two whole days. But like I gotta thank that that random like situation there because ever since then I never stopped making beats, right? Mm-hmm. And obviously, if you do something for so long, you're gonna get good at it. Facts, you know? facts. It's a time investment. Practice, mm-hmm. man. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like, Just keep doing it till you get it. Yeah. Type shit. Practice makes perfect. And now, mm-hmm. uh, Ash, how about you tell us how you started, man? Okay, so this is like, <clears throat> yo, so I swear, like, with me, I go to things, and then I leave the thing, and then I come back to it better. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. how it's always mm-hmm. been the case for me. So I was in the mall one time. This is when I lived in New York, right? I was in the mall one time, and I'm sitting with a couple of my friends, right? And they're just like, yo, like, I wish I could make beats, right? I'm just like, I just felt like lying, and I said, yo, I can <laughs> make beats, right? Cause I see my friend fuck around with that full studio, right? But like he was he was ass too, you know what I'm saying? So like I'm just like, okay, I could probably do it, right? So boom, he's just like, yo, send me some beats, then, right? And I say, okay. So boom, I'm on my way home, right? Riding my BMX, and I'm just kind of stressing. I'm like, fuck, I don't know how to make beats. So boom, bro, I hop on my shitty ass computer, and you know what I'm saying? I go on Google and I get the trial version of FL Studio, you know what I'm saying? And I started fucking around with it. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm just like, yo, fuck this shit, bro. This is way too complicated. Boom. Close it off, right? And my friend's like, where the beats at? And I just said, yo, shit. Like, I, I couldn't make any, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, two months later, right, I heard, um, you know, X by 21 Savage. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, 2016. Well, what year did that song come 2016. out? 2016. 2016, yeah. right? I heard that song, and I'm just like, I was listening to the song, and I'm just like, yo, this beat is crazy, right? Like, what the fuck? So... I downloaded that full studio again, right? And how I started off was I'm just like, I'm a lock in this time. Mm -hmm. So I started off by like remaking songs. I'm sure everyone's done that, right? You first start off with remaking songs that you like, right? For me, it was a Ric Flair drip. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I've made made that shit. I've almost made like, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody's made like the same kind of songs because like the simple ones. The most, you know what I'm saying? Like most producers, like when they came up, they came up looking up to Metro and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So it was. Fucking even mask off. I was downloading yeah, a sample and trying exactly. To get it you know what I'm out. saying? Like you just try to replicate what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like when I was doing that, I got better and better and better and better. You know what I'm saying? And that's that kind of just started me off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And how old were you guys when you guys first started? Would you say? Uh, fifteen, sixteen. Damn. About and to so say. I'm twenty. I'm twenty-one now. So. So you guys have been in the game for a minute, then. 
doesn't feel so. like it though. It doesn't feel like. Yo, it, I, f- I feel like though. Yo, look, for the first couple of years, like I was just practicing my art. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Until I was really good at the art. I feel that. Before I started putting it out, right? Like maybe only like five years ago, is when I actually started like pushing this shit out. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, cause I, I feel like I was asked before. Yeah. Yeah, you are. I feel you. So are you, bro. You're ass right now, bro. Jeez, we gonna get a beef on camera? Yes, I think <laughs> we might. I think we just might. They're like brothers, mm. y'all. Mm. But um, yeah. I mean, you already kind of brought it up, but I actually want to ask you guys, what's your dog journey? Because like, I can tell my you about what? me. Oh, my dog journey. I fucking, I started in Audacity, bro. Fucking Audacity the game. Fucking Audacity. Yeah, I audacity. started Audacity. Audacity. Fucking crazy. Audacity. And then uh, after Audacity, I downloaded fucking um Studio One. I just didn't know Wait, how to produce it. What? Studio One is another dog. I've never heard of that. Yeah, yeah bro. You never heard of that? It's kind of whack. Nah, <laughs> I'm sorry, Studio One. It's kind of whack. Yeah. And then eventually, like, yeah, I think I started watching Genius Deconstructed and shit on YouTube. Yeah, they're all cool using, like, fuck. FL Studios. FL, right? yeah. That's what I was FL learning Studio. on. So, yeah, and then I, I hopped on FL after. But, yeah, tell oh, me yeah. about y'all dog journeys and shit. You could go. Oh, okay. So, I started with GarageBand, like I said. Mm-hmm. You know, made the worst beats on there. Then I moved on to Logic. And I made slightly worse. Damn, you used to make beats on yeah. Logic. Really? I didn't even know that. What the on fuck? On Logic, I made slightly worse beats on Logic. Right? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. And then I moved on to FL. And your beats and got my good. And then the were beats like, were just terrible. The then, beats bro. were mid, like super mid. <laughs> but then I stayed on FL, perfected it. Now it's 2024 now, and I just learned Ableton this week. Oh. And I'm going crazy on Woo! Ableton. Too, Damn. You know so I'm truly. So you're an Ableton you know, man now? No, no, no. I look, 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 this is big sauce right here. Okay. <laughs> Yo, if you guys make samples and beats, make your samples in Ableton and do your drums in FL. Oh, yeah? That's what I do. Oh, shit. And I love it. Ableton is like, yo, if you're live recording instruments and shit like that. Yeah, that's like, why. That's definitely like the go-to DAW you want to use because, you know what I'm saying? It's just the workflow is a lot faster than FL Studio. Quick, and, you can you know quantize things yeah. so nicely, whereas FL is like a mess. Like. It feels good for putting sh- shit down quick, like uh, like drum ideas and stuff. I don't know. I'll always yeah. be a rider for FL. Bro, but FL, me too. What the like, hell? FL, if I had to pick one and not have no other ones, I'm picking FL for sure. I feel like, yo, with FL Studio, though, it's specifically made, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's a pioneer software to make beats. And it looks saying? aesthetically oh, yeah. pleasing to look at. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Like and you can color yeah. shit and gradients and stuff. Everything just makes like, sense well, on I don't FL, do you know that. what I'm saying? Ain't nobody I, got time for yeah, that. Yeah, facts. I'd be doing that. I'd be extra. But um yeah like also I found out this recently some sauce yo apparently you can open FL Studio as a plugin in Ableton. What the hell? Yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you can do that in Pro Tools crazy. too. You know that? I would. Never I didn't know that. that. Like that's crazy. But like see like I could just I don't really get the point of opening just, it as a plugin when you could just fucking open the thing. That's facts. Your, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like and I feel like it puts more like stress on the DAW you're using that is if facts. you're loading another yeah. DAW yeah. on another DAW you know what I'm saying yeah, like, like what? imagine yeah that's some doggy shit right there man doggy shit that's some doggy Ball. shit right there. <laughs> Pro Tools too I fuck with Pro Tools Pro Tools is pretty cool I learned Pro Tools this year too. you know what I'm saying yeah like I feel like yo DAWs like everything's designed to do its own thing you know what I'm saying you got yeah, Ableton yeah. for live instruments you know what I'm saying you got Pro Tools for vocals you know what I'm saying you got FL Studio, and then you have Ooh. Logic, which is like the Apple version of making beats. Yeah, and shit that's like that. why I was just having a conversation with my boy like a few weeks ago, and I was like, "Yo, what if someone invented like this DAW that like took each element of all the other DAWs? I mean, like you took like FL's like drum roll. like drum stuff, put it in there, and then Ableton's like recording stuff, put it there, and then like Pro Tools Sauce, put it there, and then like, you made the best DAW like ever. Yeah. But then you get sued by all the other DAWs. <laughs> exactly, bro. No, yeah, I'm so. like, yo, they. These companies would not like they yeah. could not stand if a doll like that came out. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah, they all stopped making They're money. All done with. Yeah. Have you They're seen already like, not really making money? Everyone's cracking their shit. Bro, you know what's right? so crazy, yeah, bro? Yeah. Pro Tools used to be like a one-time payment app. Now, now you have to subscribe. Subscriptions for it, on everything. You know bro. what I'm saying? Like they were really milked the fuck out of you for money man it's crazy but i feel like they're doing the subscription thing because mad people are cracking anyway so yeah like, bro like we'll just like yo, actually oh, yeah. you know what's crazy so pro tools like um so my brother right mm-hmm. he used to have um a copy of pro tools you know what i'm saying but yo back in the day like i think he got him like 2013 
Yo, so there was a security key, right? Like mm-hmm. it was a USB drive that you had to plug into your. Oh, like a physical. Yeah, thing. Oh, you had to plug it into your computer to actually run the application. You know what I'm saying? Like they they took security measures crazy with that shit. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember you, you used to be able to buy like the physical copies of Omnisphere. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, know, yeah, right? Yeah. What the fuck? Yo, that's, it's kind of cool to have that shit yeah, though. Yeah, right? You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like having like a vinyl of a record that's exactly, digitally yeah, out. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. like a cool little flex. Mm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah. Well. Enough about DAWs. Let's talk about plugins. Like, what do y'all go to plugins? Uh, or what is your go to plugin? Like, your one go to plugin? If I couldn't have nothing else, else here. Nothing man. else. Can't drop VSC, the sauce. like instrument VSC. Oh. Uh, can't drop the sauce, you know, man. Okay, I'll see. Uh, if I couldn't have anything else, I'll use Analog Lab. I knew you were going to say that. Ever. You use a lot of Analog Lab. I love synths. <laughs> I love, like, digital sounds. So. See, for me, it'd probably be. um. You can say guitar rig as well. No, 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 nah. no. You're gonna say atmosphere, right? I'm, I'm not gonna say atmosphere. I'm probably gonna say um. Fuck, I forget what it's called, bro. The D, the D five hundred. What the hell is that? Is that? Hold up, bro. Wait, let me get the exact. Bro, name. that shit probably got like three sounds on it. No, nah, no, nah, it doesn't, bro. It doesn't, bro. <laughs> bro, suck my fucking dick, stupid. Hold up, the DS. Bro, ain't no way you're surviving off that one plugin, bro. I swear it's D five hundred, bro. I know some kids who survive purely on purity. Oh, oh that's crazy. That's, that's terrible. That's crazy. Okay, yo, you know what? I'm not even going to say... Bro, yo, you searched up the D500 and a picture of a camera <laughs> came up. Like, yo, I, forget I forget the yeah, name. I forget the name. It's maybe DS500, but like it's part of the... Um, it comes with like the Juno, the Jupiter pack, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, the okay. Arturia stuff? So just get Analog Lab. That's not Arturia. Oh, Roland? Bro. What is it? The yeah, Roland? that's oh, Roland. I'd probably yeah. say like my go-to plugin would be... I'd say it would be Omnisphere, bro. I'm just yeah, go beyond. That makes more yeah. sense. Cause I was like, how how is your go to plugin a plugin that you don't even remember what the name is, bro? Like, <laughs> yo, because like yo, it's yo. just there and I click it every time and it gives me every sound that I need. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But Omnistry, yo, I fuck with Omnistry because like yo, you just have like all the power yeah. in the world with Omnistry. Cause yo, not only can you use already stock sounds in there, but you can create your own sounds. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like that's the yeah. true point of a synthesizer where you can put sounds together and actually do yeah. the sound design. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if the world was like, you know what I'm saying? If the, if the world was rid of all plugins, bro, Omnisphere would thrive the most. Yeah, so you guys don't yeah. fuck with Serum? Huh? Serum can do the same no, shit. Serum is cool, no, but you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like the output. Like, I feel like mm-hmm. with Omnisphere, you have a lot more control and mm. you, there's a lot more features. Because, yo, Omnisphere is damn near fucking $1,000, bro, when you fucking buy it. Really? Yeah. Damn. I know it's like 50 gigs. Uh, worth I spent like plugins. 500 on it, yeah. And Omnisphere, like, when you buy a full Omnisphere, bro, it comes with um, it comes with Trillion and Keyscape 2, yes. right? Because Omnisphere has the real sounds. Like, Serum is just all, like, patches that yeah, they already make, right? Exactly. It, like, it might have a piano in it, but it's not sampled from. Omnisphere is yeah. all live sounds, bro. Yeah, all live recorded sounds. That's why I fuck with it so much. And I yo, really fuck with Trillion. Trillion's fire. Trillion's fire, bro. It has some crazy basses, but you know what I'm saying. When I need a bass, bro, I just that pick up the guitar. True. That shit true. That's true. Pick up the guitar. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. The real live recording shit, man. Awesome type shit. Cool. Well, there you go, guys. Like that's Ash and Rico's favorite plug. That's plugins, the nerdy right? shit right there. That's Anyways, the um. This is still kind of nerdy. This whole podcast can be nerdy, but I mean, it is what it is. You know, I fuck. When with are we gonna talk about some life things? I want to talk about some real life things. Yeah. But um, you guys might remember before you went to LA, I uh, I made you a little track, didn't I? Both of you. Oh yes. Oh, that, yeah, I tried. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was around the time. Uh, obviously, it's still ongoing. I'm sure the Drake. Uh, Drake and Metro. BBL Rico. Yeah, facts. Hey, so then um, I was inspired. I saw that um. Uh, for context, I saw that Metro used AI to make that BBL Drizzy sample, right? Yeah. So I was really curious. I was like, what's going on here, right? And I'm always like, like, I'm trying to look into new things that are going on in the music industry. So I found this uh, AI website, suno.ai, and mm-hmm. I just, uh, you know, I just want to fuck with these guys. So <laughs> I was like, yeah. I, I entered in the prompt, generate me a song about my boy Rico's BBL. Generate a song <laughs> about my boy Ash's what BBL. BBL. What BBL bro, are you I tell you to? what, bro, what? that shit what actually BBL? sounded like an industry yeah, fucking I thought like someone made that song thing. made you know what i'm saying like it sounded like yo ai is scary bro, bro that's what i'm saying so, ai is yeah. scary as fuck bro. i want to know your thoughts on it like do you think it's look, gonna, how do you think it's gonna affect producers in the future i, I mean like We're look chilling. i would say it's a 50 50 you know what i'm saying when it comes to ai you can only get specific to a certain extent mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying because, yo, even if you go on chat GPT, right, let's say you ask it to make you a logo, you know what I'm saying? You give it the specific instructions needed to make a logo, too. It's still not going to give you what you want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But AI can only, you know what I'm saying? The human brain is the smartest 
smartest functioning organ in all the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, nothing can beat the intelligence of a human. So I feel like AI is not as hands on mm -hmm. than a human. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you're in the studio, bro, you need to make revisions. AI can't do that for you like that. At least we're not yeah. at the stage where it can right now. Maybe it might be able to do it in the future, but I feel like you can't replace, like, a human to do, like, the work of a human. You know what I'm saying? Like Facts. It's got no soul, bro. I mean, look, when it comes to AI, like, remember, AI is based on a database of every all the music that's already been made. That's what I'm saying. You know so what I'm saying? someone has to be feeding the information to it. Exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. like... You could just be the person who makes some new shit that no one's ever heard, and AI. Well, AI might be able to replicate it after you make it, but you already you made it first. So facts. That's so. If you're a real creative, like, you you know that AI is not a threat. Mm -hmm. it's, maybe it's a threat if you suck at making beats. <laughs> Yo. But like, nah, for real. Yo, beyond like, that too, my whole thing with mu the music industry is like, dude, like, at the end of the day, if you're an artist, let's just say, right, mm -hmm. and you're like. Your songs are not like, how do I say this? Your fans are there for you. They're not there for the music, right? So if, there's, if there was just like an AI that made a super dope song, but it was just an AI, there's no branding behind yeah, it. Yeah, but that's, no different that's, that's different because that's different because that's an artist. Yeah. When you're talking, facing. producers are like, you know, more in the background. Well, mm -hmm. for, for the most part. But yeah, like AI will never replace an artist. Yeah. Like, because like, you know, like an artist is their face and, and how they look. Yeah. It's like. 50% how they look and talk and act, and then 50% their music. Facts. Like, look at Ice Spice, Yo, but that example. could be biased, That's all bro. I gotta say. <clears throat> that huh? could be biased, what? bro, because look, you, you're you speaking for a certain audience, bro, because look, there's a lot of people that go to raves and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of EDM music that's I'm, played in the club. I'm you know? talking about, like, singers, like, art rappers, like, artists, like, on the mic. Yeah, but, yo, yeah, yeah you know, people do that shit, too, right? Like, EDM music... People are still singing in there, like it's it's very fucking processed. Yeah, but they're not the front act. The DJs are the front act. Not necessarily, bro. Pretty much ninety percent of the time, yeah. Nah, bro, but like you have the composition already. The DJ just plays around with it. You know what I'm saying? The DJ just adds drops to it. You know what I'm saying? Makes it more, gives the builds up and stuff. You know what I'm saying? The DJ can yeah, only yeah. influence the product that's already there. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like. <clears throat> yo, you could have like, yo, you could just play like an AI generated EDM song, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, in a rave and people are going to yeah. go fucking stupid and nobody's even going to realize. Okay, yeah, but yeah. I can see that, yeah. Because that's like a different genre of music, but mo most genres of music involve someone, you know, when you go to a show, there's someone on the stage with a microphone in their hand. You'll be surprised, bro. There's a good amount of people that listen to that kind of shit. Bro. No, I know that, but I'm I'm speaking on the other genres where there's someone on stage with a mic. Like, look at the Kendrick show the other day. That went crazy. Like, that's not being replicated by AI. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. people want to see Kendrick. It just depends which, on what which audience you're speaking on, People want to see Playboy yeah. Cardi go on a stage and yeah. fucking scream his ass off. And, like, Travis, like, get a microphone stand and whip it into the crowd, you <laughs> yeah. know? Like... AI is like no one's gonna be satisfied with seeing a robot do some shit like Facts. that. Like that's weird. Yeah. Good music's good music, you but like if it's well, AI. Terminator's yo, gonna be real yo, soon, bro. Like sorry, I sorry to not keep it PG, but people wanna see I, I mean me personally I don't care about this, but people wanna see Ice Spice go on stage and shake her ass. Like Yeah. It's I mean, like that sh type of shit can be replaced, you know? <laughs> he wants to see that shit. Don't that's that's what dummy. something that AI can't replace. They can't replace the like the ads. The, the, the they can't replace the, the swag. The yeah, the, the sauce of pe of people, facts of artists. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, enough talking about AI. So I want to actually jump right into uh, our next segment. I have a little game for you guys. Okay. All right. So this game is called Rank It Right. I'm actually it's my fault. I'm gonna tie back to it. I actually made it with AI. I was like, yo, generate. You made the game. No, no, no. I I I made the name, but I couldn't come up with the name. Mm -hmm. So like, I just use AI to generate the name. Bro, yeah. see, like, yo, you're depending on AI <laughs> yeah. so much, bro. You got to stop. Fam, the name is called Rank It Right. How it's going to go, I'm going to give you guys a topic, okay? I'm going to mm -hmm. give you guys some some stuff. We're going to order stuff together. Okay. You me? So the first thing we're going to do. Well, we have to both agree on our order. We all have to agree. It's going to get kind of hectic, but. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, because you guys are producers, I'm going to first start off with beat trends. So yeah. I'm going to name you a bunch of beat patterns, and okay. we're going to rank them from our Favorite to least favorite, and we'll okay. collectively agree. Cool. I bet. Sounds good. All right. 
So starting off, we have uh, I'll name all of them first. We have Jerk Beats, okay. Hey yo. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, UK Garage Beats. Garage. 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 UK Garage UK Beats. Garage. Drill Beats. We okay. all fuck with that shit for sure. I used to. But I know that was our expertise. Yeah. yeah. I didn't include Trap, by the way, because obviously you guys are Trap producers. So. Yeah, but um, Jersey Beats. Okay. Okay. And uh, New Orleans Bounce. New uh, Orleans Bounce. Like what? Like NBA Youngboy? Not nah, like um, In My Feelings by Drake. Or what's that one with the uh, Murder Beats? Uh, in it, um, it's oh, like Nice for What? Nice for What? That's, that's, New, Orleans that's New Orleans Bounce? Yeah, it's New Orleans Bounce. Really? I didn't know that. I thought that was like the like... Oh. I don't know. I didn't know what that was. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> yeah. Okay, but yeah bro. those beat patterns, I'm pretty sure they're called New Orleans bounce. So, oh, like the super fast, like, like yeah. the just that, just that, like club. that groove. You feel me? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. the Drake kind of groove, bro. Yeah, the Drake kind of groove. So like, uh, most Drake songs, actually, like now that you mention it, bro, like it probably, mo like yo, even the this song that he dropped for everybody else still got the New Orleans bounce too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know it was. Oh one yeah, of like dropping give me fifty. It's just yo, yeah, yeah. Well. You know what I'm saying? Like it just. Yeah. Yeah. It has like a certain bounce to it. Now I know what you mean, but yes, I didn't know that was called the New Orleans bounce. Yeah. There you go. Well, it comes from New Orleans. So, anyways, let's start ranking them. So, uh, from left from left to right, we'll do least favorite to favorite. So, Ash, um, whatever's on your side is most favorite. So, right, what are we gonna go good. first? What's the favorite out of the five? What do you got here? What uh, do you guys like the most? Out of these? I don't really. Yeah, I, don't, I don't. Well, wait, can you explain to me what jerk is? Jerk is like. Yeah, yeah. I forgot what that is. It's but. cool with like the kids nowadays, like the underground, like. Like young Faisal would hop on a jerk. Oh, okay, 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 okay. To, okay. To, 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 wait, I'm trying to remember what jerk. I feel like yeah. out of this, bro, I'm gonna probably have to pick the New Orleans bounce to be the most favorite. What about you? Yeah, I'd probably pick okay. that too. Yeah. Then I, yo, I, I probably put. I mean, drill and Jersey are very similar. Mm -hmm. Nah, 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 yeah. nah, nah. They're nah, pretty nah, similar. Nah, yeah. Oh, nah, you're bugging. Like, look, it depends on what kind of drill you're talking about, though. Yo, if you're talking about UK drill, like. There's so no, many sounds you can make with a drill, like no, but basically the drill and I'm saying they're similar because drill is basically like you, the jersey is basically you took the hi hats from drill and then just turn into an 808 or turn into a kick. Yeah. that's what I mean. Yo, but see the thing is, I feel like jersey beats most of the times they're turned, where whereas with drill beats you can take like a yeah, dark approach with it. Or you, know you what can saying? go like the central C route. Yeah, I don't know yeah. about you. I think, I think jersey beats are easier to dance to. Bomb, for bomb, sure, yeah, bomb, but, bomb, bomb, but I'm I'm gonna speak in terms of my creativity and what like you can't get very creative with jersey. Yeah, you like that's true. With Joe beats yeah. or jersey beats, with jersey, with jersey beats. beats. Yeah, with jersey yeah. beats. So like, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to put this as my favorite. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put drill second. Yeah, drill second. Just yeah. because I ha I hold drill so close in my heart forever. Yeah, drill second. Cause Cause like, like that was like drill. Drill is like that was like the come up for me. I started yeah, off same, as drill exactly. producer. You're from New York too, so yeah. probably like yeah. Jersey would probably be third. Third, yeah. I don't really know much about Jerk, but I I heard a bit of. I, I think I remember. It's kind of cool, so I'll put that fourth. Yeah. In. UK garage. UK like, garage. Like I'm not gonna lie, I fucking hate that. That's shit. Really? That's, that's not my lane. Like, that's yeah. not my shit at all. Bro. I love that shit. So yeah, I feel like I feel like everybody agrees with this order, right? Yeah. Or maybe you, you are you. I disagree? disagree on the UK garage, but everything else is cool. Where are you gonna put it? Well, where would you put UK? Bro, garage? I put it right at the front, bro. What? I love, I love UK Garage music, bro. It's fire. Garage. Garage gang. UK Garage music. Alright, UK Garage music. I love UK well, Garage music. Shit. Yo, actually, yo, like, English is such a dumb language, bro. Like, I really don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, how would people in the UK say rage? Rage. Yeah, and then you see rage. there's, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? There's a garage. rage. So, like, garage. garage. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it don't no. make sense to me, bro. You can like, say that with, like, every word though yeah i know but like it, it's it's a very valid point bro like what the fuck anyways yeah oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so these are our preferences of i guess beat patterns from, from least that favorite. way to this way yeah yo i got a mic in my hand all right bro look look oh you gotta use your brain brother my you need ai to help but yeah <laughs> yo i need ai to help me with everything gang but yeah, this is uh this is the order from least favorite to favorite. Favorite mm -hmm. on, on uh, Ash's side. All right, side. now I have a game. What's up? So, yo, now everybody here has to do their best imitation of all these bounces, <laughs> bro. All right. All right. Who's, who, Let's start who's off that? with the New Orleans bounce, all right? Ian, you start. Are we beatboxing? Yeah, we have to beatbox. Are we beatboxed? Shit. Um... <laughs> I don't know. That's yeah, that's pretty bounce, cool. Right? That's pretty cool. You fucking suck at this. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get spit on the You fucking suck. And then drill. Hey. Okay, okay. Hard. Damn, you added a little. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Gotta add like a little. You added a little. You know what I'm saying? drill now? All right, let's do drill now, bro. I don't know, something like that. Just the, the hi hat pattern. <laughs> Isn't that Jersey? That, that's Jersey. No, that it's Jersey? the same thing, though. Yeah, but you, bro, you suck. Oh, wait. Alright. Okay, you got Woo! the. I was just doing the hi hat. Hard. Alright, Jersey. Jersey. Oh. Yeah, I think we're all gonna have the same. Stop smoking your hand, bro. I know, no, I'm gonna do it like. That's not a jersey. Snap, snap. Wait. Oh, okay. Snap. Yeah. Ow. Got you. I mean, uh, we want to just skip these because you guys don't really know what jerk beats I, are. I don't right? even. It's like. Yeah, yeah, okay, why don't you do it since you're familiar with those two genres? I'm more familiar with UK Garage for sure. Jerk is still new to me, but it's. Isn't jerk just like a. I don't want something like that. Like I I'm thought Drake was just like a, t t t t t t just like a, just like constant a like, t like a four on the floor pattern. No, nah, that's not. No, nah, but but it's like super fast. Yeah, um, it's faster for sure yeah. on the faster end. Yeah, we'll uh, just get this shit. Cool. Yeah, yo, yo, hold on. Let's do a bonus one, bro. Not everybody has to imitate EDM. Uh, hmm. How much? There's so many different bro, just, types. Just do, just do the one that comes to your head. Like house, a house beat. House is not EDM, bro. I just, oh god damn What the fuck is happening on the God damn Who's going Super Saiyan Anyways uh -huh. um, EDM EDM drum oh, like EDM uh, drum Why can I not remember any Like EDM songs right now I, Most of them are just Four on the floor though You feel me? Most of them are just Four on the floor Yeah yeah We yeah, probably yeah, look yeah. like Idiots behind the camera yo. <laughs> no, <for sure. laughs> Anyways Alright cool We'll move on to the next round Let's get it there's another game. Oh, no. Nah, we have two more rounds of this shit, bro. <laughs> Next round, we're going to get you guys to rank artists. These are considered, I guess, GOAT rappers or S-tier artists, according to the people's society. Mm -hmm. so, All right, but Number one, we have our, our very own Drizzy Drake. Okay. <laughs> we got Kendrick. All right. You see where's it going? All right. Mm -hmm. Next up, after that, we got Kanye. So Kanye West. Mm -hmm. Travis Scott. Mm -hmm. After that, then we got. I know who's going Jay last. Cole and Lil I know who's going last. I know who's going last. I know who's going last. Let's talk about J Cole. J Cole last. J Cole last. J Cole last. Put him last. Yeah, J Cole's definitely. No offense. Sorry, I'm, I only then, rock wait, with J Cole. Who was that? I can't see that. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Uh, I mean, like he he's a goat, but like I don't. I wouldn't. Yo, yo. I know who I'm putting number one. I'm getting Travis Scott, and I'm bringing him right here, bro. And I'm sure y'all will agree. I'm going Drake, bro. That's great. On God, personal favorite, I'm legend, saying, hey, personal favorites, personal favorites. Okay, personal great. favorites. All right. So you you're going with Drake. I'm going with Drake. For real. Yes. Who are you picking? Tra uh, personal favorite. I fuck I'm with Travis too. Travis. First. Travis, right? I gotta pick Travis. I mean, first. yo, what producers and yo, like as producers, bro. Travis just like Mike Dean and all. all you know what I'm saying? Travis yeah. just has crazy composition. You know what I'm saying? I really mm. enjoy hearing it. And I, I like agree. what he does with his vocals. Well, I'm okay with putting. You know Travis where that came from, right? Yeah. You know where that came from. Yep. Yep. There you go. So like, so you gotta put that up there too. So I mean, I've, 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 I feel like I'm sorry. I don't really rock with Kendrick. Uh, I, okay, Kendrick's cool and all, but like, no, I'm like, saying Kanye. I'm not like a huge oh, yeah. fan. Kanye has to be second or third. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah. I would say like if music wise, bro. I don't really, I don't really listen to Kendrick's music. That's what I'm saying I don't. Really, but I like, I, I fuck him. with his like in his new yeah. disses and shit. But yeah. I feel like Drake has a bigger and wider range of catalog. I agree. You know what I'm saying he's had my boy Travis Scott on some of his songs. Mm. You know what I'm saying Drake has he has a lot of hits. You know and what I'm saying yo and like yo this guy's been relevant for so long, right? And so like, I think like. Yeah. yeah, no, Drake has to be you know ahead, ahead of Kendrick. I'm cool with this order. I feel like that's a pretty cool order. Drake cool. just yeah. has to be last. This is cool, yeah. And no, cool again, I fuck with Wayne too. No disrespect to Wayne, you know? Yo, Wayne, but like, yo, Legend. like, he's. It's, it's, just it's not, not his time anymore. It's yeah, not the times right now. It's not his like, time anymore, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like, but yo, we can all agree that J. Cole needs to be last. <laughs> there you go. Okay, yeah. yeah? We don't know how to speak on that. All right, cool. We don't got to facts. Grippy. All right, cool. Let's hold up our order. All right, bet. Let's get it. So, this is the order we decided on from least favorite to favorite. In terms of, I guess, goat rappers for this generation type. that we the we, we type. Wow, that's crazy. The youngest person on the whole thing is the goat right now. 
Travis Scott? Yeah. Oh, yeah, facts. There you go. That's wild. Oh, Travis Scott, the GOAT, man. Awesome. Love flame. So we have one last round for this game. Uh-huh. And uh, for this round, I'm going to get you guys to order VSTs. Oh, I thought you were going to say you're going to get us to order a pizza. Oh, you, you, you hungry right now, game? game? That'd be a very strange that'd be, game. That'd be fire right now. <laughs> All right. So first up for this round. We have Nexus. Get that shit. Ah, get no, that shit out of here. No, 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 this is, this is, actually, no, no, no. This is goaded. This is goaded, nah, though. I, is goated. I feel like, yo, yo, I'm going to yeah. put Nexus number one. I started like, on Nexus. Yo. I started on Nexus. That's what I'm saying. Yo, Chief Keef, without Nexus, there's no For all the man. future sounds, what a time to be alive, yeah. bro. Everything's in Nexus, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. There's no, yeah, yeah. Nexus facts. is out there. But yeah. next we have Serum. But it's just so outdated now. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Serum? I don't, I don't care for Serum. I don't really care for Serum. I've never really used it. Contact? Contact, I feel like that has to be Contact's pretty fired. I know, okay, Rico, I know you're going to focus this one. Analog yo, Lab. put that shit up there, yo. <laughs> All right. Yo. My personal favorite, Xenology. I'll fuck with it. I actually it has, really like it has everything you need. And uh, so y'all mentioned it, it earlier, but obviously ah, I can't leave That's a goat, bro. That's a so, goat. So yeah. what are, how are we arranging this? All right, I feel like Analog Lab and Omnisphere need to be like top two. Top two. And then this Contact needs to be three. This has to be three because... This has shit that like no contact none of these other ones have. Bro, sounds, contact yeah. has a piano called Alicia's Keys. Shout out Alicia's yeah. Keys, crazy Fire. piano. Contact is like, it's honestly, such an amazing VST. Honestly, I think we have it. Yeah, I'm yo, cool with I'm it. not gonna lie, bro. Like you gotta you gotta do Nexus some respect, bro. Come on, you can give Nexus put Nexus up there. No, 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 no. Like swap it at least like with Zen, Zen, like Xenology. Okay. I love cool. Xenology, but I I do I feel like yo, I, I feel like know. Xenology is like a updated version of Nexus. I can low actually key, get behind that. Low key, it is. It is, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I don't know if y'all ever used Nexus 3 because, like, I used it for, like, maybe, like, one time and then I mm-hmm. think I deleted it. Mm-hmm. Y'all ever tried Nexus, Nexus 3? I've only used Nexus yeah. 2. Yeah, Nexus 3, I tried it, but, like, it just, it wasn't it. Oh, Bro, okay. Honestly, I feel like Xenology and Nexus, they just have, like, the standard sound. Yeah. yeah. Nothing special. They're just sounds. Yo, so, like, Whereas, can we talk about why we, why we all don't fuck with Serum? I fuck with Serum. I don't really, cause it's not my thing. Like maybe if I was more into like the like EDM, EDM shit, then yeah. But for like trap, R and B, and shit like that, like mm-hmm. I don't see myself using serum that you. much. No, I make I make EDM, so I use a lot of serum. Yeah, I know. I fuck with your EDM yeah. shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Thank I, you. I actually, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go home tonight. And I'm gonna try some serum. Yeah. I don't think I'm using enough. Yeah, you know what's serum. also um really a really cool VST? Yeah, yeah. You y'all ever use Nectar? Ne- uh, isotope, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, isotope, yeah, yeah. Nectar. isotope nectar, yeah. Oh uh, no, 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 no! Sorry, not nectar, bro. Hive. I've never used hive. No. Hive is pretty cool. It has mm. some cool fucking sounds, and it works the same way as serum too. You can do a lot of sound design and shit in there. Cool. That was pretty cool. Is it um, new? Nah, it's, it's been around for a while. Last time I used it was it's probably like 20, 2018. Damn. Okay, bet. Mm. So it's been out for a while, but it's kind of underrated and shit. Sick. No, that sounds sick. I'm definitely looking to that. I ever use heat up? Nah. Y'all heard of it, Hito? Nah. I right, no. I guess. I guess. Never mind, man. I think the weirdest yeah. plugin I've used was like, I don't even know. Like, I've used some pretty weird plugins in the past. Like, OVO3. OVO3. OVO. Oh, what there's the a hell? plugin called OVO. Yeah, that Did I just Drake downloaded. It? I don't know. I got it on. Okay, like, I don't even know where I got it to be honest, but yeah, I ended up using that. Um, I use a plugin called Pigments that I really liked. I've heard, oh, yeah. I've heard of Pigments. Yeah. That's Pigments Archeria. Really cool. That's like related yeah, 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 to Analog yeah. Lab. Yeah, Pigments dope. Um, yeah, Archeria has some cool fucking shit. Yeah, bro. yeah, they're yeah. sick. Even Anyways. their real life midis too. They're fire. Yeah, I have a yeah, I have a midi Archeria midi. Dope. So I, I think I mean, we're cool with this order. Yeah, yeah. we're cool with this order. Yeah, Let's hold it up. So I mean, again, yeah, this is the order of our least favorite to favorite VSDs, aka plugins or just sounds on when we produce and stuff. So Omni's yes, very cool and that will conclude this game thank let's you guys for playing it. let's get it man i repeat all the trees that got cut down <laughs> <laughs> well, it took a minute to write these too anyways um, you got nice handwriting bro thanks y'all i appreciate that i wish i could say the same yeah, you write with your toes bro <laughs> <laughs> but um you wish yeah i know uh i guess going into it i want to talk about beat stars man because i know you guys both came from beat stars but like beat stars what was it like growing y'all channels and like your beat star pages shit uh, you want to start? No, nah, I'm going to let you start. All right. Basically, around the time that I remember how I said I started with GarageBand, then I went to Logic, and then I went to FL, and my beats were still super mid when I went to FL. Oh, this mm. sucks. But I, the second I went to FL, I was like, okay, now I think it's time for me to start doing something with my beats, even if they are kind of ass. Mm-hmm. So I started like, I was like, okay, I'm going to post a new beat on YouTube every day. 
So like honestly, I had no idea what I was doing. Like one day I would post a little pump type beat. The next day I'd post a Twenty One Savage type beat. The next day I'm posting like a Travis Scott type beat, right? But like each day, the beat would be better than the last, and like it was cool, right? I was still getting my like reps in. I was still learning how to produce and stuff, right? So then, basically, like a year after that point, my channel just like blew up mm -hmm. pretty much because i just stayed consistent eventually my beats got better and um i found a niche for my channel which was like drill beats right right you know so um yeah then uh i just started racking up views during like uh during quarantine because everyone was just like in their crib like just trying to become a rapper yeah with nothing to do so and everyone like, got their serve checks you know so they're yeah, like no, so fuck, i'll spend it on they're some like, let, me, <laughs> let me buy let me get some beats and just make some shit at the crib so like that's when my views like exploded i was getting like every day like three hundred thousand views on my channel mm. just off of like tight beats and stuff like that like getting sales every day i'd wake up like wake up to sales i was selling like thousands of dollars of of beats like every week um it's not lucrative then. basically every day actually damn fucking a um, grand a day yeah it exactly. was crazy what that was when i was like 17. Man. um and then yeah now i'm like i still do the youtube stuff but it's not like it's like it's not on my priority anymore mm -hmm. like, just because i've done it for so long that like it's like it's cool like i always i'll always do it cause, yeah like, i gotta appreciate it forever like beat stars changed my life YouTube do you think shit uh, my life yeah do you think uh making beats and well selling beats do you think it's still lucrative nowadays or not like as much yeah, yeah people just still use tight beats just as much as they used to right mm -hmm. but um obviously like people aren't searching for them as much as they were like in 2020 when like right. you couldn't go to the studios and you were just trapped in your crib Facts. that's like one of the main reasons why my channel exploded mm -hmm. was because it was like those times you know right so i gotta i'm blessed with that you know mm -hmm. but It'll never die out unless, like, those AI beat generators just, like, get so good that, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hold not. But, yeah, like, no, nah, like, people look down on the YouTube and Beatstar shit so much. But, like, bro, that shit changed a lot of people's lives. Facts. And you got to get it how you live. Like, when I started out, I didn't know how the fuck I was going to, like, become a producer. I was, like, the only lane I see is, like, I'm a the only thing i could do is i could put my stuff on youtube and pray like someone sees it you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying i'm like how, how what am i gonna do with this beat i, I can't send it out to x y what, what do i have to send it to i'm just put my stuff on youtube and just pray and that's it facts so mm -hmm. that's the great thing about youtube you can be anywhere you could be a kid in fucking like antarctica <laughs> making beats and people can hear your beats because they found facts. it on youtube you know yeah and yo what was it like getting your first sale do you remember? <clears throat> Yo, my first sale, I'll talk to you about when I got my first check from music, all right? First thing I did was, don't do this, guys. I bought a stupid fucking piece of chain, bro. Was it the one from Wait, Icebox? how much did you yes. sell it for? How much was the beat? Bro, so I sold my first exclusive for $3,000. Damn, what man, the fuck? You man. ran straight to Icebox. Oh, nah, this guy's spoiled, bro. He started off bro, with the big the bucks already, up, yo. Bro. That's crazy. Yo, nah, that's crazy. Was yo, it like look, a... An advance from a label? Nah, it was just somebody bought an exclusive. Bought out. Probably, bought out. Three racks. Probably like a super like rich like trapper. Yeah, three thousand dollars. Three racks is crazy. And yes. the beat was ass. <laughs> yeah. And the beat was fucking ass. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess he really wanted it back. And I never even heard the song. Damn. I never even heard. I don't even know who it was, bro. It was some. I think it was some dude named Zuka or something. I don't know. <laughs> Shout Zook. out. Shout, shout out to him. Shout, bro. shout out to you, bro. You I bought my, my first boy's chain. Life, bro. Yo, but yeah, I bought a yeah. chain, and bro, I wore that shit like every day for like the next few years, and then I stopped. You sold it? Nah, I still have it. What happened? Your neck turned green? Nah, bro. Never nah. that, bro. <laughs> next day, next day, pale, bro. You know what I'm bro, saying? Bro, I'm like the opposite of you because I sold my first beat for seven dollars, bro. Seven dollars? Bro, seven. And when I sold it, I was it was like a school night, and I remember I like. 9 p.m. Like bro the, got sale, food for his the lunch. sale came in seven dollars, bro. I fucking like ran downstairs and I was like, holy fucking <laughs> shit, bro! <laughs> I just sold a beat for the first time and like I was like, bro, that was just a 
that was a fucking crazy moment, bro. Yeah. Seven dollars. Like, I made my first seven. Bro, what you what you spend? Yeah. What you spend it on? I don't. McDouble. I don't know. Probably some like cookies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that fuck. No, I didn't spend it. I just saved it. But then like, bro, the fact that I priced my beat at seven dollars was like. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Like I was just trying to. I was just bro was bro was just trying to get a set. I didn't care how much I sold it for. I just wanted to sell a beat, man. Bro, I remember. So a long time ago, I used to also do the mm-hmm. same thing with you guys. Mm-hmm. I had a beat channel too. Mm-hmm. I remember I sold my. I only uploaded five beats to this channel. I, t- I deleted it. Mm-hmm. So it was so funny. I just um I guess during quarantine, mm-hmm. did a lot of K-pop pitches, K-pop briefs. So I got, uh, I started making a lot of K-pop beats, yeah. which is why I kind of transitioned in ED, like into EDM stuff mm-hmm. now, right? But. I remember I would upload these like black pink twice type beats onto my YouTube. Yeah. And it was so funny because mm. I sold I sold the same beat like five times. Yeah. And they were all like I remember the first sale I got, it was like random. It was like twenty twenty one maybe. And then like I was just um chilling at home and I get a notification on my phone from BeatStars that someone bought my mm. my beat for like two hundred fifty bucks. Let's go. And I'm yeah. like, holy fuck, right? And the thing is too, right? Like I'm pretty sure, like, especially in that K-pop bag, like, this stuff I was doing, mm. right? It was just, like, kids on the internet, like, you know, who are, like, who really liked K-pop and wanted yeah. to make music like that. Right. So they would buy, th- they would probably ask their parents to buy the beat and, do, like, do nothing with it. Because, yeah, Damn. same thing. Oh, yeah. I never heard anything that was, you know, on my beat. But, I mean, I sold yeah. it a bunch of times, so I'm chilling. Then I deleted the channel. What'd you spend the $250 on? Well, I don't even remember, bro. It was, like, yeah. probably crack? clothes. Yo, I'd have. Crack? Probably crack. Yeah, probably okay. crack. Yeah. Nah, I had, a, I had a really severe like clothing addiction. Oh yeah, yo, I was buying so many facts, clothes, bro. bro. I wish I. Yo, but, yo it's funny. Yeah. I never went through that phase, bro. Really, bro. Yeah. Mine is bad, bro. No, as was, long I'm, as like, yo, as long as some shit look good to me, bro, I'll rock it. You know bro, what I'm saying? I'm That's you, what I'm on now. It's yeah, not yeah. about like what designer you wear, bro. It's about how you plan your outfit. Bro, that's real maturity when you facts. get to that. Point. That's when you know you're mature, bro. You know yo, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, when I was bro, younger, you know what I'm saying? Yo, these pants were like those are hard. You know what I'm saying? They were like. I think like 90 bucks, bro. You really? know what I'm saying? They were 90 bucks. And mm. you know what I'm saying? I just put on a regular black tee. Bro, and, yo, look at this shit. My socks not even matching, bro. <laughs> yeah. My socks. socks not even matching right They're now. They're inverted. You're swagging, though. Exactly, yeah. bro. And I'm swagging, but bro. I feel you. No, because like back then, I would be like spending like what? Fucking like 500 bucks on a Chanel crew neck just because it says Chanel on it. Yeah. Right? Like, the fuck am I doing? But like, I actually really fuck with black tees. Like, I'll go yeah. to like. Yeah, black tees? Every day, black and white tees. That's what I'm saying. Man. I'll literally go to Uniqlo or like yeah. Muji and just get a pack of black tees and I'm good for that. That shit hard, yeah. You know, so. Yeah, my but, um, clothes, my. Yeah. So beyond just, I guess, talking about beat stores, like, let's talk about getting placements now, mm. right? So, you know, talk about some of the placements you boys have landed, how it made you feel, and, like, yeah. Type just go shit. into it. You or, can talk about, like, what, some, you what, know, name your biggest placements, whatever it might the be. The things you know? that we can speak on that are not classified right now. <laughs> just give some Type game. Uh, Drop some game. Talk about, wait, talk about what? Like, how to get placements or, like? Or just talk about, like, some of the placements you guys have landed and like how it made you feel when you got it you know um i think mm, i'm trying to think of which ones i think the the or one of the coolest stories was when I'm, like i landed my placement with like fabio foreign with the song with the it's a song with fabio foreign polo g and vori right called changed on me um basically like i was so confused like when they sent me the email that like i landed that song i was honestly so confused i thought it was fake like i thought it was a scam because like i think i was in the studio with you when they said yeah 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 you were they sent me this email and it was like a lawyer like fabio's lawyer Mm -hmm. and he's like yo like we need your information we're trying to clear this song and i'm like bro like you must have the wrong guy or some shit because i don't remember ever sending stuff like to fabio to fabio foreign ever right and like but turns out it's like literally like basically how it happened was like two years before that i sent like five samples to like some dude right Mm -hmm. who ended up becoming fabio foreign's producer damn and like they just ended up using that old ass sample on a new beat in like 2021 jeez and then the, the record came about and they put polo g and vori on it and like it dropped on the album and it was like I don't know. It's always such a crazy moment when you get that email from like a label mm-hmm. and they're trying to clear something. It's like this shit is that beautiful, shit bro. that shit doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's that like shit is beautiful, it hits bro. different. Yo, but see the thing is like you can send shit out 
You know what I'm saying? And then it could like still give you something years later. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, that's it what I'm saying. It doesn't have to be right in that moment, but you know what I'm saying? It can always come to you as a surprise, bro. Mm -hmm. So always send shit out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, one of the I'm by the time there people are probably seeing this, my song with like 42 Doug is about to drop. Uh, it's 2024 now, right? Mm -hmm. I made that shit back in 2020. Damn, four years later. Four years later, like the the melody I made is coming out for everyone to hear in 2024 is the album already announced for yeah, yeah yeah damn it's cleared and stuff like that we're good to go hard but like yeah like i always encourage people to go back in their folders and just like listen to their old shit and send out their old shit because music is timeless Facts. you know like i feel like i feel like samples are more timeless than beats though yeah, because beat sure. trends come and go, right? Because like we drums change. Oh, yeah, but like samples, samples you can, stay. You can sample some shit from like 2000 BC, bro. Because you know yeah, look, and look. If you look sick. at like the top music right now, yeah. let's say 21 Savage songs, Drake songs. Yeah, they're all using ancient samples, old bro. Songs, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Old songs like are getting rum? sampled into today's. Yeah, yeah. Red Rum, you know Red what I'm saying? You got yeah. Red Rum as an example. You got Running. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. It applies to our shit too, you know. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Fox, I mean, uh, is there any favorite song that you currently have out, like, or that's currently out right now, which you have a production for or a production credit for, like any? Yeah, song? probably my song with uh, it's called Viral, Rob Forty Nine and Lil Durk. Um, you love Durk, eh? Yeah, because that's like the guy that I've been like trying to work towards like for all these years. Sick. He's and been one of my favorite artists, yeah. you know. So it's like it w it was crazy for that song to come out like and finally hear him like on Spotify on my beat is like was a crazy moment. Um, yeah. That's hard. What yeah, about you Ash? Man. Anything out that you really like? Man, see the thing is most of the shit that I produce, bro, is unreleased, bro, due to mm -hmm. unfortunate circumstances. But one of my favorite songs that I produced, I only really heard it over the phone. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace to him, bro. Little kid. It was Lil' Kid and Lil' God. It was one of those oh, songs, yeah. right? Jeez. And I landed it through, like, so what you want to do is you want to work with the engineer or the producer of the artist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, it doesn't even have to be specific. Uh, it doesn't have to be specifically their, um, their producer or engineer, too, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to work with everyone in general. Because, like, I just sent, like, I send the beats out to just one of my engineers I'm logged in with, right? And then, boom, he calls me the next day. He's like, yo, yeah, I just had Keith and got in the studio, right? And then, boom, they just recorded on your shit. And then he's like, I'll play you some of the song. And he played that shit to me. It was sounding fucking crazy. And then um, I think, like, two, three months later, Lil' Key died, bro. Shit, R.I.P. Damn. Yo, they never dropped, like, a like a posthumous album for Lil' Key, right? I think, yeah. Uh, I don't think they did. I know they dropped. No, they did. They did. I forgot what it's called, but they did. You might really? get it a year later, or two years later. You'll be like, one day you'll get a surprise. Be like, oh, surprise the song's going to be Yeah. Well, yeah. I, 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 I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like his legacy is completely buried. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You yeah, always yeah, want to yeah. mm -hmm. You always want to be hopeful. You feel me? Yeah. And then, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got a song with A Buggy. I actually yeah. did it with him. Yeah, we got You know yeah. what I'm saying? Still the same play, bro. I sent the beats out to the engineer. Thank it wasn't you. actually a beat. It was a sample. Mm. It was a sample. So how we also do things is... um. You know what I'm saying? It depends on what your relationship is with the person, right? Mm. So it wasn't actually my sample at all. It was his sample. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's something called, you know what I'm saying, between producers or not necessarily in between producers. Like, you're A&R, yeah. You know, yeah, you A&R the yeah. beat, right? Meaning you can send the beat out on someone's behalf. You know what I'm saying? And then you put your name on it. And too, you right? can put yeah. your name and, on it. And you know what I'm saying? It's just as valued. as you, you put in just as much work as I did. Exactly. Because you know like, what I'm saying? Because like, he's making the composition. Yeah. I'm getting the composition to the person who yeah. needs exactly. it. Exactly. A Boogie wouldn't have heard it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And... That's how you want to make plays, you know what I'm saying? You want to work with everyone, but you also want to be careful with, with who you're working with. Mm. You know Facts. what I'm saying? Like, Facts. I know I can trust him, so I don't mind doing him a favor. He does me favors, mm. you know what I'm saying? Pause. <laughs> Bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, like, you just want to be careful with who you're making plays with because there's a lot of bad shit that happens yeah. too, you know what I'm saying? The music shit, bro. But also, I say, fuck, like, fuck being careful, though, because, like, I say just give your shit, like. Give let, your shit out and let the lawyers do it. And let it happen. Let, let it the happen. the lawyers handle like, it after, eh? 
Yeah, it's like because yo, cause like you know. you know what I'm saying. Business can like most of the times the business will go bad. You know what I'm saying. You don't always get what you want. Mm. That's just how it works in the industry. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, Cause but you just gotta be careful on your end. You know what I'm saying. Just be aware and tend to yeah, those things. Because I can't speak on it, but like a lot of my songs, people have tried to like, you know, the song was about to get cleared, and then you know they might try to get someone to remake your stuff to cut you out of yep. the record. Oh, and, and like, to take more of master. They points, do that right? shit, but yeah. like, I mean, that's just that's just what happens. Yeah, like, that's just man. what comes. Be with the careful game. with record labels too, man. It's you know what like I'm saying? I'd rather have that record and have issues with the record. Then not have the record at all. Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Anyways. It's a business mindset. Mm-hmm. Next question. Who's your dream collab? Can I go first? Yeah. Yo, let's say it at the same time. I feel like I know who it is. Let's Th- say it at the same time. Right. Three, two, one. Travis future. Scott. Oh, so for you, it's future. future. For you, it's Travis, Travis Scott. Scott. I see. Solid I feel picks. like, yo. In today's world, bro, getting a song with Future is more possible than being able to get a song with Travis. Yeah, but Scott. why does that matter, bro? Because, I don't know, bro. Like Future, Are you doing it just because it's, it's rare. Nah, like, not, yeah. not even like that. Like, yo, if we're talking in terms of rarity, bro, like I'm not gonna bring that in there. You know what I'm saying? Future, bro. I feel like Future makes great music. You feel me? Mm. But I don't even want a Travis Scott song just to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, get the money. I just yeah. actually want to see what he would do with something I make. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because Travis Scott is a real creative person. You know what I'm saying? I like. Mm. I want to see what what he could do to my composition to make it even better. Interesting. Because you know what I'm saying? Like a beat's not complete without vocals on it. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Like, and the way Travis Scott lays down his vocals and shit, like I just wanna, I just wanna see what he would do with it. You know what I'm saying? I just actually. Like, Love to have a song with him just for the love of music. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not nah, facts. And you? What's the justification of my future? Just because, like, when I said, like, the one of the main reasons I started making beats was because I just always listened to music nonstop. Right. Was because, like, I was pretty much always just listening to Future back in, like, 2013, 2014. During his run, right? Right, yeah. yeah. Like, so, like, he, his production is, like, that's the type of beats I was making when I first started. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's like my main like inspiration with the sound. Sick. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. And what are y'all uh, favorite future songs? Cody and Crazy. Cody Marsh and Crazy. Madness. I'm probably gonna say Cody and uh, Crazy. News or some inside the mattress. Damn. I'll be yeah, honest. I, I don't listen to too much future, but I really fuck with like back when I used to listen when I was in high school and stuff. Like, I like where you at a lot. I like that track. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that track so, is hard. Like, Cody and Crazy. Class, yeah. I fuck with like, yo, there's so many future songs. Low bro. Life, oh, with the weekend. Low Life oh, is hard. good. Mm. I like I'm the plug. That song is fire. You know what I'm saying? You got you got some of his new shit too, bro. And that's all the, you got seven twelve PM. The old songs mm. with Jeffrey. You feel me? Oh yeah. Oh, yo, what's up, mate? What's up, mate? mate? I was that, just that track's a banger. We were actually bumping that yesterday. So yeah. Yeah, man. Future has a lot of hits, man. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Such well, honestly, we're going to transition into our next segment, and I have another game for you guys. Oh, shit. This game's called Besties, and honestly, it's pretty jokes. All you got to do, I'm going to pull up a prompt, and you're going to tell me your favorite whatever, you know, your best whatever. All right, cool. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right, let's start from the bottom of the deck. Very fitting. Who's the best producer, in your opinion? What do you mean? Oh, just music a, producer. Okay, okay. And honestly, you guys, you guys can give me a Mount Rushmore, because I know you guys probably have a So Mount Rushmore is like four. Your top the four, in no particular order. producer or the most like? Mount Rushmore? Yeah. Mm. Who's on your Mount Rushmore for favorite producers? Is that like four people? Or four people, yeah. Four people, yeah. Let me just, let me just think. Or if you, it doesn't have to be four. If, if four if you just can't think of one, you know? Mm-hmm. You going first? Well, um, you you can go thinking. first. I'm still putting my... I can, I can tell I you can, mine. I can think too. You know? Yeah, what's yours? Yeah, yeah, So um, I think as of... Um, I'll do Mount Rushmore, or I'll try to. I, can, I don't know if I can name four that I really like, but... Top two for sure, um, Max Martin, pop producer. Mm, this mm. guy produced every single fucking yeah. hit on the radio you've heard since before you were born, bro. So he's legend. Yeah, yeah. Max Martin, probably number one in terms of producer. Uh, definitely got to give a shout out to Metro because like I grew up like he's a reason the same thing that I yeah, yeah, yeah downloaded yeah, yeah. FL Studio. Like I saw like um, I remember seeing one time he did something for FL Studio, some like video or whatever. Just yeah. that's mm. that's what got me into it. So shout out Metro. So yeah, Metro, Max Martin, uh, 
Yo, he doesn't get enough love. Well, he's getting pretty mainstream now, but Benny X for sure. Like, he's super dope. He's a really Seriously. talented musician, period. Yeah, yeah, he is. Right? Yeah. So, so him nowadays. And um, last one, I actually don't know. I don't know who I'd pick. But I'll do three for now. Yeah. I think I'll go. Um, I'd say Kanye West. Okay. Metro oh, Boomin. I Kanye, yeah. That's a good one. Um, Sony Digital. I fucking hard, love Sony Digital. Hard, Sony Digital is fire. And I like David Guetta. Yeah, yeah. David Guetta. David Guetta. Yeah. David Guetta. 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 David Guetta. <laughs> David Guetta. He's fire. Like, no, no. Actually, let me swap that out for Mike Dean. Mike Dean. Shout out Mike mm. Dean. Hard. Mike Dean's fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's like, yo, those four like the puzzles of like they all created their own sound. Yeah. You know what I'm Especially like, Mike Dean. I should have like included Mike, Mike Dean. You got too, the bro. synth. You know what I'm saying? Metro. You got the dark trap. Sonny. You got the turn shit. Like, I, I low-key missed out Southside, but I don't think Southside has big of an influence as Sonny Digital did. Mm. But, you know what I'm saying? Southside's still around, though. Mm. He's still around. Sonny Digital has been around, though. Sonny Digital done make some crazy shit. I know you're going to feel a way about that, mm. but guess what? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah, but I feel like everybody in in that Mount Rushmore is just in their own lane, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, What about you? I say, like, I got to go Metro. Metro. This, guy gonna, this guy's gonna have Southside in there. Metro, I know it. Murder. Murder. Good one. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he's Toronto. Being, he's Order from where we're yeah. from. Facts, facts. You know? um, Southside, for sure. <laughs> because, yo, like the, all the future stuff, he was doing it. Didn't he so. just drop something with Ken and Lone? I actually didn't check that. Yeah, out. he did. He did, yeah, right? He no. Did. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think President. Uh, but I'm talking about the OG someone. shit. Like, Southside was. It, like, 808 Mafia was just like. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They're, you always hear their that is trap. Shit. 808 yeah. Mafia is trap music, right? So like, wh- who did I say? Metro, Murder, Southside, Southside. Um, I definitely put Wonder Girl in there. Wonder Girl, shout out Wonder Girl, she's fire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then probably like recently or like the last couple of years, I I really fuck with Cardo Got Wings. Oh, he's hard too. Yeah, he's fire. Dope. Um, and I have my my own reasons for all five of them. Tight. I gave I put them all because of like one specific thing for each of them. Right, but there's That's what I'm all saying, yeah. Everybody yeah. got their own lane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think uh, actually no, we're not gonna talk about producers we think that aren't talented, but you know. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm no, you know, we're not gonna get into that. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, well, I'm sure we all feel very strongly about a, a particular producer. Yeah. Who? Uh, we're gonna bleep it for sure. Uh, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Why can't you say it? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> Got a sound though. He's got a sound. Oh, can't oh, fuck off. Fuck Rico. Run that. Yo, facts. Yo, anyways, we're cutting that out. But um, yeah. all right. Don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget. Bro. I mean, I didn't say nothing. Yeah. Didn't Yo, say you're still here, bro. <laughs> you're yep. part of this. But I didn't yeah. say nothing. Bro, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. What's so. What's online that Eric said, bro? What? Say what you say. You are part of it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say what you say. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, all right. Cool. So yeah, we wrapped up best producers. We'll move on to our our next topic. Best artist. Ice Spice. And you can give him out. Ice Spice for you? No, I'm joking. Same thing. <laughs> if you can't decide between one, you can oh, give them out. Can we take a two-second break? I just got to piss. All right. So for our next round of the game, we're going to be all talking about who our favorite artist is going to be. So best artist. So um, same thing. If you can't think of one, you can do give me a Mount Rushmore. But yeah. Mm-hmm. You want to go first? If you guys Let can't think, I can go first too. You can go first. This guy already all has right. us down. Yeah, I mean, I prepared the questions. Uh, so, yeah. so my Mount Rushmore would probably be uh, Chris Brown. Uh, mm-hmm. Jay Park, um, mm-hmm. who else? Um, if he made music, Daniel Caesar, but he doesn't make music, so. Well, he did. Well, he did, yeah. Shout out Daniel Caesar, mm-hmm. Bryce and Taylor probably. Yeah, mm-hmm. those are my fire. You know, I'm gonna swap out, um, Daniel Caesar with, uh, probably Drake. Honestly, he, growing up in Toronto, like he definitely had a big impact on me yeah. and what I was listening to and stuff. So yeah, for sure. So yeah, Chris Brown, Jay Park, Drake, and Bryce and Taylor. Solid, so a lot of R and B. Yeah, I love R and B, man. A lot of R and B. Yeah, I fuck with R and B. You a lover, man? I am uh, a lover, man. Um, I probably say be Travis Scott, mm-hmm. Future, mm-hmm. um, the Migos. They're not together Migos, anymore, mm-hmm. but, but like the OG fucking they are crazy OG run, Migos. Crazy I fucking run, love yeah. the Migos. And uh, who would be the last pick? I really like Baby King. 
Shout out Baby Keem. So Baby Keem's creative. So Baby creative, Keem is yeah. very creative. Yeah. So like, yeah. I guess that would be my four. And he's lit too. Yeah, he's lit. Yeah, Baby Keem's yeah. fire. Wish he dropped more often. Versatile, though, bro. creative. So yeah. many artists like that. This is like so fire. Yeah. We wish they dropped yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish he dropped way more often, bro. So I got to go with uh, Future, of course. Um, Travis. Future, Travis. I'll probably throw Baby Keem in there too. Baby Keem? Is that four? That's three. That's no, three. Future, Travis, no, Baby Keem. No, but isn't it capped at four? Capped at four, yeah. It's okay, so Rushmore. take out Baby Keem. Actually, I got to put Dirk just because of like, you know, it's just like. Special to you, right? So honestly. near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. Um, And then, you know, I got to throw in my R&B shit. I love Brent. Fires. Brent? Shout out Brent. He's Brent fire. Fires? Yeah. I, I I'll was never see a lot. you bumping I'm, this shit. I'm on my lover boy shit when, I, when, I have a, when I'm with a girl, you know what I'm saying? Jeez. Like, that's Brent, what I'm on. soundtrack to your life, eh? How often shit. are you with oh, girls, bro? Huh? Huh? How often are you with girls? Uh, <laughs> never, bro. Mm. Okay. You always working. Yeah, facts. Never, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's a liar. He's always with girls. Yo, what? Nah. You don't know me. Anyways, um, yeah, cool. <laughs> we'll move on to the next, uh, the next prompt here. Song. And this must be the best song of all time. Cody and Crazy. Fuck. Cody and Crazy? Um... Fuck, this is a hard one. Chief Keef? Nah. Nah, probably not. This is tough, I right? took Cody crazy because I could rap that shit yeah, back yeah, yeah. to back, word for word, And it's like, a, it's like a five-minute song, and you can rap it yeah. word for word. Like, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, nah. Co it would, it would probably be Cody and crazy, bro. This is such a hard one. Now that I think, even me, like, I prepped this, and I can't really think. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, yeah, because I'm such a big Chris Brown fan, I'd probably pick something from his catalog. Probably, like, one of his older songs called... Like with you mm. or maybe no air, I don't know. But this is mm. tough, man. Yeah, fuck. That's a, that's a tough like, question. Uh, how about you know Miles? Oh fuck! Oh, shout yeah, out you know Miles. You know Miles. Shout out you know Miles. Yeah, shout out you know Miles. Yo, we'll get into yeah. we'll get into like, something in a later it? prompt. All right, mm. next one. Shit's about to be crazy, but best album, all time. Ooh. I have my answer. It's Freudian by Daniel Caesar. I think that album's perfect. Like, I have my from, I have my album. answer ready. What's up, Rodeo? Travis Scott, Rodeo, or Birds? Oh, Birds! Mm. Okay, Birds is my favorite uh, Travis album. It's hard to I think I like between those two, bro. Yo, I'm not. Birds has is probably one of the hardest album covers. Yeah, like yeah, the cover is crazy. Do you guys have it on vinyl? Nah, you guys should I get know, it on vinyl. It just looks. I'm so building sick. my collection right now, actually. Yeah. So. Man, fuck, bro! I can't Rodeo or Birds, bro. It's gotta be a Travis album for me. Yeah, bro. fact. If we're going so Travis, I'm going Birds. That's my favorite Travis album. Fuck, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking of all the songs on the album right now. Bro, coordinate yo, on birds. Bro, and in the yo, trap. Beebs. Yo, fucking Wonderful. Hell. Pick up the phone, Pick gang. Up the phone. Yeah. Outside. Yeah, but yo, oh. Rodeo has bangers, bro. Rodeo has 90210. 3500? 3500. Right? 3, pornography. Apple mm. Pie? Is that? I think that's on there. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Uh, I would say, yo, yo, I fuck. Can I'm tell. It has, I could tell. Mm. I yo, because yo, yo, like, oh Rodeo my. has, like, Bro, fuck Has this. Oh is... my, decide. Oh yeah, that was on the album too. <sighs> this is hard. Birds has uh goosebumps, right? Yeah, birds has goosebumps. Crazy. So what do you what what do y'all pick? Oh, fuck. I'm going birds. You win birds? Yeah. Mm, I think I'm gonna go with birds. Oh, uh, Rodeo has antidote. Ro or yeah, is, it, no, isn't that on um? Is that just a single? I no, I think antidote is. Antidote's on. on, uh, is on Rodeo? Rodeo. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 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 I think I'm gonna go with birds. Birds, so yeah, birds. birds Damn, and traps and the night. Same fucking. Album. Yeah, birds is birds is crazy. That's wild. Sick. I mean, good pick. All right, mm -hmm. cool. Damn, bro, nobody picked Astro World, huh? I'm picking. That's Huncho, a good album too, though. Picking Huncho Jack. Wait, what'd you say? Nah, I said I think Astro World was good. What album. did you say? I think I, I thought Astro World was a good album. I feel like Huncho Jack was probably. I like, was joking about that. I'm not. Oh, you what? fuck with Huncho Jack? Huncho Jack is yeah, one of fire. the best albums of all time, bro. I don't know. No, okay, I don't no, really fuck with Quavo. Nah, shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> it was collab a great albums. Album. Okay, in terms of collab albums, bro, I would say like Yo, uh, Gunna and Lil Baby, fam. Oh, banger album. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 all right, but like what I feel like Huncho album? Jack is just a whole different level. What's up? Wait, who else dropped collab albums? What's the best? Twenty One Savage yeah. or Offset, bro. And Drake. Twenty One Savage. Oh, wait, without Drake? warning is the best collab. Without warning is the best. Okay, yeah, yeah. Without warning is the best collab. Chris Brown and Thug. Slime and B? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. nah Y'all haters. I fucking love Chris Brown. Nah. Shout out Jeffrey. Free Jeffrey, man. Free Jeff, bro. Free, free Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, free Jeff. But, um, 
Yeah, I guess we'll move on to our next topic. Um, that was a hard one. Best guilty pleasure song. I said guilty pleasure. Honestly, the better term nowadays. I mean, I like using his white girl songs because, like, I'm not, I'm not guilty when I listen to this music. You know, I'm just mm. like, I'm proud of it. What's your favorite guilty pleasure song? Whatever, sh- sh- you know, shit you sing in the shower, uh, the shower or whatever. Yo, you put on that. What's that song called? Well, like, yo, Ice Spice Deli is fucking fire. <laughs> I Deli? knew Deli? you were gonna say Deli? that. Deli? Ice Spice is fire. Uh. Orange Soda by Baby Keem is fire. That's a guilty pleasure song. Well, it's like a it's a it's a goofy song for yeah, sure. I would say Fifi by Six Nine and Nicki Minaj, bro. That song's hard. That song is so hard, bro. Like that shit just goes crazy. Or some of the Sexy Red songs. But what the fuck? Like the one with Chief Keef. Ratchet as fuck. Damn, Shorty. <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah. Boy, you ratchet as fuck. Yo, I'm going mm-hmm. One Time by Justin Bieber or some shit like that. Some of the yeah. old stuff, you know. I would say I'm good by Baby Rex and David Gator. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's hard. hard. I remember yeah, we were in the yeah. car. Yeah, we put that shit on. We put that show up in the B and B too. Told me to yeah, put yeah, that shit hard. On. That that track is hard. Yeah, that's yeah. They're, they're all good songs, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I listen to them with with pride. Yeah, facts. Oh, a whole lot of pride. <laughs> all right, I guess next uh, next one, best <laughs> underground artist right now. So you brought up you know Miles. Laser Dim Seven Hundred. You fuck with Laser Dim? <laughs> 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 well, you brought up Laser Dim. I'm gonna go Molly yeah. Santana. She's a. Have you guys seen that meme? Oh, I thought it's laser dim. I thought it's about Saucy Santana. Nah, this is a, this is a, this is a thing named Molly Santana. She's so crazy. Yo, do you, yeah. is Ian considered like an underground? I still artist? probably not yeah, anymore. Uh, not anymore, but he's like getting there. You yeah. know, but he he is underground. Ian's hard as fuck. Yeah, I fuck with him. Shout out Ian. Yeah, shout out Ian. Shout oh. out Ian. The way that um, I'm driving this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm putting that song that hard. Yeah, he's Ian hard. is fire. I would say like, man. This Who is else? a tough one, eh? Yeah, this is a tough one. Nah, but you, Yo, you, you know Miles, bro. Point, you know Miles, Shout man. out you know Miles. I, I was playing. Yo, what about, what's that fucking dude? Dave Blunts? Dave Blunts. Yeah. Dave Blunts? Dave Blunts? I showed you. That's the guy I showed you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's, he's the song cool, about, he made a song about some ting named Madison or some shit. It was funny as fuck. That's his yeah. girl? Nah, he's just made up girls, I swear. Mm. <laughs> In all his songs, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to stick with yeah. Ian. Yeah. I might go with Ian or like, um. <laughs> Lasered him? No, I was just, like Laser Dim is cool, but like I just can't listen to his music. Nah, Laser Dim, yo. So yeah. I was gonna bring this up. It was funny. Um, there's a meme that's circulating the internet. Basically, Laser Dim and the girl I brought up, Molly Santana, mm. and I think Black Boy Max or whatever. They're all in some Discord call or some shit. Yeah. And Molly was just like chilling or whatever, and she was leaving the call. She was saying bye, mm. and right before she left, <laughs> Laser Dim just goes, "How old are you, is Molly?" I'm <laughs> like, "It's mm. so fucking funny." <laughs> How old is she? I don't know. Well, he was always trying to hit on her. He has some like creepy ass smile after someone spoke. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I think she's like voice. 19, but she's about to oh, go on okay. tour. Ski mask. She's so crazy. Damn. Y'all should definitely go check out Molly Santana. Who else is underground? <laughs> Nowadays, no one's really underground. Yeah, no everyone's yeah. just coming up. Or I guess Facts. to us because we we're we're in the industry, so we know who's like mm. we know everyone already. Facts. Like, so the s- general public wouldn't, right? Yeah, like. Yeah, that's true so, too. No, like a lot of people who are around me don't even know who Ian is. You know what I'm True. saying? True, but to us, he's like such a big deal. Yeah, yeah. We're in, like he's yeah. huge. Lil Yachty brought him out to fucking Rolling Loud yeah. some shit, right? So, yeah, cool. I guess we'll move on to our last one. I know Ash has an answer for this, but best instrument. Well, you, you I can answer that, bro. Yeah, on. Guitar. Guitar. Yeah. The the um. Well, the piano, but more particularly like synths. analog, like mm-hmm. p- like synths. You know, just a keyboard. Yeah, a keyboard. Yeah, like keys. Just give me some keys. Mm-hmm. What about you? I studied the saxophone in school, so I'm probably just going to go saxophone. That's like the yeah, instrument Yeah, that's your shit, bro. That's your shit. I'm like shit. confident playing that yeah, one. We you can know? make a band right now. That's yeah. what I'm saying, bro. We should. Make a band and make yeah, these facts. bands. Yeah. Concrete yeah. Boys. That's what Cocky Boys? Called. That's what you want to no, be called? That's, no, that's what Lil Yachty's guys are called. Like concrete concrete boys. boys. I thought you said Cocky Boys. Cocky Boys is crazy. That's kind of hard. That's Cocky Boys. The Cocky Boys. No, that's kind of gay. Yo, Cocky <laughs> boys, right. What about the Bukaki boys? Yo, what? Hey, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, he's losing it. Yo. All right, cool. So that uh, that's um, brings us to our end of that game. So thank you guys so much for participating. Of thank course, you, course. Thank you for having us. Yeah, and uh, honestly, we're gonna end off this podcast with a bang. I'm gonna end uh, end of the one last question. You know that hopefully you guys can provide great insight on. But mm-hmm. what are some pieces of business advice you could give to producers just starting out, or Imagine you you hop in a time capsule or a time machine and you go back in time. What would you tell your young version of yourself? You know, just some advice to the youngins. I feel like if you're trying to do anything in life, you have to be willing to give something if you want something. Facts. Mm. 
You know what I'm saying? Everything comes at a cost. Mm-hmm. Facts. No matter how small it is, you have to give something to get something. Sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Sacrifice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You if you want to make money, like that too, you really. have to work. You know what I'm saying? If you want to buy shoes, you'll pay. You know what I'm saying? Not always. <laughs> or you, you can steal them. <laughs> or you but can. There's illegal <laughs> ways of doing stuff, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how the world works. You know what I'm saying? You got to give something in order to get some. Thanks. What about you, Rico? Bro, I mean, I'll say what I'm going to say, but it's because, like, it's nothing you haven't heard before, but it's so facts. It's just like. I know what you're going to say, bro. Just be yourself. Yeah. And, like, create your own, like. Lane. Motion. Lane. You know what I'm saying? Like, create your own sauce. And consistency, man. Yeah, like. Consistency is everything. Yeah, like. People, like, they're so scared to build like their own like self they're, they're just taking ideas from other people and shit and like hopping in other people's lanes and stuff yo just take the long way and structure yourself and build yourself up with a solid foundation create your own this do- this doesn't just apply for music it applies for anything anything like, in life you know what I'm saying? Saying? do your own thing and ha- have your own uniqueness and stand out you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. dope because what yeah. would you tell yourself me Honestly, one big thing I probably tell myself is like, um, yo, there's no handouts out there in life, you know? Like yeah, this isn't. world is cold, bro. Like, um Facts. you gotta really work for yourself, you feel me? Like, uh, I used to think or I'm glad I don't think like this anymore, but I used to think that there was like someone out there to save me. You know? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, out yeah. There, you know, but like realistically nah. you think about it like, yo, Drake's not gonna knock on your door tomorrow and be like i'm gonna put you on yeah, you feel me? Right. yeah. so my That's whole thing is just facts. like yo figure out your own shit first get your own motion and then people will be interested you know and That's, like yeah exactly. it's just so much better that way than rather like yeah if you ex- live life expecting you know your people to put you on like shit's not gonna happen like yeah. that so get you need to realize lotion. That. no matter how talented you are you know so, wait what What'd get you some lotion and make some motion i can <laughs> yeah with a whole lot of motion. Wait, with a whole lot of lotion? Comes a whole a lot, lot of motion. motion. And with motion comes, comes a whole, whole lot, lot of commotion. commotion. Yeah. And with the commotion, you get a promotion. Yeah. Okay. And then, you know what I'm saying? That's the notion. You guys should rap. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> Been there, done that. Facts. That's I heard the shit. Make funny. sure when you're trying it's to dope. get some motion, don't oh, OD on the potion. Oh, yeah. Dope. Thanks. Well, I guess we can wrap up this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for having yeah. us, man. Of course, you guys were amazing Yo, guests. Yo, shout out Unlikely Podcast. Shout out The Lab Podcast. You know what I'm saying? My boy's killing it up here. In the lab, in the lab yes, podcast. In the lab podcast, we're you know what I'm saying? Hosted by Ian. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy Ryan for running this shit behind oh, the scenes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's doing a crazy job. Wouldn't be possible without You know what I'm saying? Amen. But you got Ash. Rico. Ian. You know what I'm saying? We're out. We're out. Peace out. Peace. Thank you.